Hello there, I'm Forge Tech, and we are here to talk about portable defenses. And first off, I would like to point out Icarus is a very quick changing game, so everything I'm saying is subject to change. So always be careful about that. Now, of course, being Icarus, the game decided to do a flash storm right as I started the video, and I had to sit there and cancel it, but so ignore the fire in the background. Now, starting off, the simplest ways of doing these are generally the best because you got to move these around. They're designed to be portable. You don't want to have something too ridiculously complicated, so I just have a simple foundation. I'll throw it down, switch over to here to these half pieces. There, I've just stopped myself from a bear, you know, getting eaten by a bear. It's... I can fight from it, stabbing the bear. I can sit there and fight with the bow. You know, I, if there's an animal in the distance, I can sit there and set this up ahead, shoot it, use this as cover. Now, also some simpler missions only require basic cover. You also can set these up in a way that, as you notice, I can actually jump up onto them and out of them and stuff of like that. But you can set up like a actual two by two grid of these with interlocking like walls just to give yourself a little bit of extra time and certain things. But for the most part, you want to build something similar to this. this is a three by three grid just uses half pieces and walls. Now I put this down ahead of time. These are easy to make. They're just a hundred wood, but it makes it a lot easier to jump in and out. Now, you can either fight straight from here, or using the same pieces, we can switch them over to this. And what you want to do is you want to put them down like that. And as you can see, it's pretty simple. Now, the reason I put these here is so I can't see really well. But if I jump up to this, and I switch to my bow... I've now got full-on anything next to that wall. I can also jump back up to here, come over to the other side of the wall, clear it, bounce back. Anything at range, let's say that, you know, yeah, bunny rabbit over there was hostile. Now, I'm able to now just hop around. Let's say I slip and fall, I can immediately just go back to my pile, hop on, hop back in. Now, I'm going to do a quick simulated run with two radars. <laughs> yep, and here comes the first wolves. And of course I miss horribly. And as you can see, it's very easy to, from right up here, turn my lamp on so I can actually look down there. Oh, there's a bunch of them over here. I've just jumped down. Now let's say I see my walls being destroyed. And now I'm good. Now I can actually switch back to the bow. Unfortunately, once that wall starts to give way, you can't always get the perfect angle on the repair. Make sure there's nothing behind me. Okay. That's the last of them, but as you can see, 
it stopped them. It stopped them all. That was a lot of wolves. And this is on outpost hard, just for anyone wondering. I'm not trying to recover my arrows as I'm talking. But as you can see, I got quite a few. I mean, let's see. Two, three. I got at least 11 to 12 wolves on... I got like eight here and there. That's a lot of uh, wolves. As you can see, I didn't really take much damage. My hammer's not really that bad off. I could have... Uh, if I would have upgraded this base and had it as a, you know, a picket line of stakes around the edge, it would have been even easier. But as you can see, lots of wolves, lots of dead wolves. Not that difficult. If I would have had an issue or let's say I had a different type of bow, I could have just simply used it or... I could even use my spear to have stabbed down at them. And I think this shows that it's pretty effective on sticks and stuff like that. Uh, one warning. You're going to want a slightly more upgraded version of this if you go into the Arctic on sticks. Those bears come at you in larger numbers. I'd maybe go with concrete and an extra layer. Because you could have just run back to base, added an extra layer to this, been able to jump back. You also could have just simply ran the wall here. If they would have managed to actually shatter this, I could have just run through the wall. Or, you know, on top of the wall like this. I could have jumped up onto this. They wouldn't have been able to reach me easily. Then a final defense up, up here. I would have had multiple layers of defense. And even though they didn't get through, if you look here... These half walls are only 0.1 kilogram. Now, once again, subject to change. These used to be 0.5 or 0.1 kilograms. They're now 5 kilograms each. Now, I do have weight reduction for solo mode on. Keep that in mind. So this would normally be 15. So the full 3x3 three three grid would be 45 weight. These would actually only be about 1.5 as of right now. So, in the walls and roof, you're looking at about 60 weight out of, you know, the average 100, 120 most people have. Very simple to move. Very simple, even with a solo player, at full weight. Um, as we can see, it's very easy to build. Very you know, easy to defend. Uh, this was even a more difficult challenge since I was fighting it on hard mode. And as such, they came at me a little faster than I was expecting. But I hope this helps, and I hope it gives you an idea for your first design. You know, and you can keep upgrading this design. Just keep adding extra layers to it if you're worried. You know, add a few extra trips. Um, with that, I hope it helps.